So we don't have a joiner here in Richard's shop, but it's amazing what you can do with a couple of pieces of scrap plywood, some $2 toggle clamps, and about five minutes. We whipped up this sled. I'm gonna put these boards in here, clamp them down, reference it off the fence for a straight edge, cut that off, and we have a jointed edge board. The first cut on our sled makes a clean edge, which also, of course, makes a clean edge on this board. So all we have to do, take this board, we can now reference this clean face on the fence, perfectly jointed edges, perfectly parallel, and we ain't got no joiner. Hey everyone, I'm Derek, and on Square Splinter today, I got kind of a special video because this is gonna be my first collaboration video. I got Richard with 42 Fabrication helping me out to make this awesome steel and wood bookshelf. Be sure and check out Richard's channel because he does tons of metalworking stuff and that's why I teamed up with him on this because he really knocked it out of the park with the design of this bookshelf. It's really, really cool. Once we had all the wood milling done, which was a lot for sure, it was time to move on to sketching out the design of the steel legs. And we had to really do a lot of measuring and figuring out to kind of work out how our jig was going to work so we could replicate these. And it took us quite a while on the first one, but in the end, it really turned out great. All right, we're gonna have six shelves and it's gonna be symmetrical across this line. This one, is this one 90 no, this to the shelf? This is a, a line of symmetry. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Except there's, they all join up in the center. There's 12 of them. There's 12, yeah. Oh, okay. It's a lot of notches. Three to four. And a shelf at 18 to 19. If you don't follow Richard at 42 Fab, be sure to click the link in the description. I have his channel link down there. He makes really awesome metal projects, really awesome, you know, artistic type metal projects. And he also has a lot of great videos on profitability, running a small business, which is really useful to anybody. Our next big hurdle was trying to figure out how we were going to space each leg so that it was repeatable because we were actually building two of these bookshelves, but we wanted every one of the legs to be exactly the same or at least as close as possible. So we come up with a couple of different things. Uh, as you can see here, you have a little jig that Richard cut out to try to help the spacing. And then after that, we came up with just using simple scraps of metal to put in between the legs and once we were able to add up different pieces of quarter inch, eighth inch little pieces of scrap, it was repeatable. We could clamp it down, get it welded, and when we put the next leg in place, we could do the exact same thing. Three, four, five, seven, twelve. Okay. Our initial plan on this was to finish the entire project in Richard's shop, but 
We kind of ran out of time because of the hiccups we ran into and in getting this mocked up. So we had to go ahead and go on the trip that we went to, to WorkbenchCon. And then when we got back, we were able to take everything up to my shop and it made it a little bit easier as far as doing the woodworking part because I had a few more woodworking tools than Richard does. So once we got everything to my shop, we were able to start laying out all 120 of these notches and then bang through them as fast as we could. And it took us about half a day, three quarters of a day just to get all these notches laid out and cut, but it really turned out super accurate and the fit was just how we wanted. And I do have to give a quick shout out to my ink reminder gauge because without it, this would have been so much more difficult. We had to splay these angles by four or five degrees from the left side to the right side, depending on which notches we were cutting. And the repeatability of the ink reminder gauge just, just made it super easy. I wanted to really showcase this shot right here because this was our life for about six hours cutting all these notches. We had 240 notches total to cut. Each one of them was at a slightly different angle. So we repeated this over and over, but we got a system down and we started breezing through it pretty darn quick. After about a day and a half in my shop, we were finally to the finishing stages, got all the sanding done. We just did a couple of coats of simple shellac, nothing fancy. And then we kind of ran out of time again, but Richard loaded up his bookshelves, took them back to his shop, and then he welded on and finished the legs. And that was it. This project was finally finished. <laughs> 